happens? What happens? Um, if you get the right answer, we don't missing? we don't load you in a truck and take you off to a home for wayward girls. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Are you are you wayward girls? Yeah. Yeah, I know that is. That is. We're Australian. Yeah, we're oh, Australian. Well. Well, it's the age-old question, why is clam chowder called chowder and not clam soup? So we've come to the Pike Place Market to get an answer to that. Unfortunately, we can't photograph the Pike Place Market sign because that's trademarked, but the people at Showgirls don't mind that there are signs in the picture. Why is clam chowder called clam chowder and not clam soup? Go. Chowder, well, clam chowder because it's so thick. Something tells me you have the answer. I don't have the answer. <laughs> no idea. Chowder has other things in it, not just like cheese. 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 Uh, I don't know. I don't either. Would you, would you like to know? Yeah. I'll find out and get back to you. Okay. I have no idea. Very good question. Why do you drive in a parkway and park in a driveway? You got chunks in it. I don't know. It's because it's chunks. Oh, you chow it down. I don't know. What? Chow it down. You're from Alaska and you don't know why they call it clam soup? As opposed to clam soup. Soup. Wow, that was weird. Um, I, I didn't buy anything those people were saying. I think I know who might have an answer though. Apparently there's a guy named Duke and apparently he has chowder. So we're going to pull up to Duke's and uh, see if he has any chowder. Duke's Chowder House. Are you Duke? You must be him. I'm him. Is that chowder? This, this is for you. Well, hang on a second. Here, hold, hold this. Just tie that up there. Hey, here we are inside Duke's Chowder House on Lake Union. How's it going? The salads are up here, ready to roll. Don't wait for them, Brent. Salads up. First of all, this clam soup is delicious. But why is it called clam chowder and not clam soup? Actually, the word chowder is from the French word chowdier which means cooked in a kettle or cooked in a pot. Mm. And people would bring their vegetables and potatoes and their seafood and their clams, dump it in the pot, cook it, and share it communally. That's how chowder started. Okay, well that, that makes sense. Actually, that's the best answer I've gotten and it's coming from you, so you're the chowder king, so it must be true. As the chowder king, now explain to me how you get more clams. What I'm trying to ask, mm. I'm trying to ask in a way... Mm. It's a very delicate subject. How do they make baby clams? That's a really good question. I know it's a good question. That's why I'm asking. Nobody knows. <laughs> Are you from here? No. 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 I'm from Florida. I'm sorry. From Florida. Do you know how clams reproduce? Uh, no, I do not. <laughs>